Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change your font size, style, and color on Shopify. So that's what we bring down here in today's video. And before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brendanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. We'll take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to start with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So you're going to want to make sure of course that you are logged in to your Shopify store next you're gonna come over here to the left hand side and select online store once you have selected online store currently I am using the dawn theme on Shopify so for you this may look a little bit different based on the default fonts and styles and colors that your theme may have selected for you of course the dawn theme is one of the popular free themes from Shopify utilizing their online store 2.0 setup of course you can choose any free theme that you like or whatever theme that you're currently using on your Shopify store this will be basically the same process so of course you're gonna want to select then next you're gonna click on the green button customize this will bring up the Shopify theme editor where you can get into editing your Shopify themes fonts styles and colors as well as uh, changing the overall whether it be bold regular things like that as well so once you have loaded up on your Shopify theme editor next you're gonna come over here to the left hand side and select select theme settings. Next, underneath theme settings, we're going to select typography. So first, we're going to be changing the font on Shopify. You select typography. Next, you have headings and body text. So first, we're going to be changing out the heading look and feel. Now, all you have to do is then select change. Now, by default, the Shopify font is assistant with the style of regular so we're going to select change this will bring up the select font setting where you can change your system fonts now and or go with other fonts as well so the difference between these two and what you may want to select for your online store is that system fonts are typically fonts that are going to load faster and might appear different on various devices so as you can see here the default is assistant on this Shopify store we're going to change it to sans serif just to see what that looks like for your headings and as you can see pretty similar we're going to go with serif and again, pretty similar as well. You can see some of the changes here on the image banner. Then we're going to go with mono. As you can see here, the text is changing as well. So you can feel free to change this, of course, to any font that you like. Um, that is just the standard ones that may typically load faster. But you also have the flexibility and freedom to choose other fonts that are in the Shopify font library so as you can see here under the other fonts these are again downloaded onto a visitor's computer and might cause slower load times so bear that in mind when you are changing and choosing your font is that it may slow down your store a little bit depending on how heavy or how bulky of a font that you go with as you can see here now we're selecting uh, abril fat face which is a pretty cool looking font in my opinion uh, as you can see it is changing here on all these different heading sections on your store so this will update across your entire shopify store just by editing uh, this setting here uh, we're going to scroll through, take a look at some other fonts. As you can see here, there are a bunch of different fonts that you can select from for your Shopify store, all for free, just in the default uh, Shopify editor here, uh, without having to edit any code or add any other custom fonts. These are honestly quite custom enough, in my opinion, uh, that you could select from, just choosing out different um, font styles as well. So we'll go with bio rhyme for now. I think that one's pretty cool Next then all you have to do is if you want to change the weighting of it If you want to go from regular you go extra light. So here's what extra light looks like um, Pretty hard to read in my opinion then you've got light of course You can change this to whatever you want to do on your Shopify store. You've got regular uh, which we already saw as well as extra bold so you could even go extra bold so you could play around with different fonts and see like what you like you know typically headings you maybe want a little bit thicker versus the body text so we're gonna go with just regular bold on bio rhyme and we're gonna stick with that once it loads and we're gonna click select so we've selected the bio rhyme bold and then you can also change the body text so we're gonna change the style of the body text so we have assistant currently we're gonna go with hmm, let's select Aramo 
So that is Aramo, and we'll just stick to regular. Next, to change the font size of your fonts, of course, the font size, you're selecting the font size scale. Uh, now, by default, it should be at 100%, but if you want to increase it, you can slide this little scale here uh, and increase the size of your font on your Shopify store. And that's how you increase the overall size. And as you can see, it does get quite large. If you want to go all the way to 150, if you just want to make things huge, maybe you have bad eyesight and maybe maybe you want it to be easier to read on some of your customers. Hey, maybe make it bigger, right? Make it easier to read. Um, you know, do bear in mind though, this is on desktop. If you look at mobile view, uh, it can get a little bit out of hand sometimes based on how big you go. So just keep that in mind to take a look at the different device sizing and see how things scale uh, as you change your fonts and sizing. But you know, this is like not bad. It's a little bit easier to read. It's bigger, uh, easier for your customers to view and read the text. So maybe that's something you want to do. So we'll go back to desktop. And so we're going to shrink that down from 150 down to about 120. Um, and we'll stick with that after it loads, as you can see here. And then you also have after headings, we also have the body text, which we can change the size of the body text as well. So as you can see here, the body text is anything like underneath this talk about your brand section. Uh, we're going to increase that one as well, as you can see once it loads and then boom, now that's a little bit bigger as well. Now changing the body text is you know, something that it really, all of these uh, text changes are site-wide. So this does impact your entire Shopify store when you're editing these specific settings, not only your homepage, but also other parts of your Shopify store. So keep that in mind when you're editing these to go and make sure that you check each of these pages and make sure that the sizing is still accurate to what you want. So next to change the color, right? I know a lot of you guys want to know how to change the color of your fonts. So you've got, again, we already went through the si the actual changing of the font. So how to change your font styles and the sizing. That's how you change the sizing. So to change the color, what you need to do here is underneath theme settings, then you're going to select colors. Now underneath colors, the options are a little bit more limited as far as how you can change your colors um, in comparison to changing the font styles and sizing. You have a lot more freedom and flexibility with that, in my opinion. Um, all you have to do is then scroll down here to select secondary colors and you have text. Now, this will again update across your entire store. So if you wanna go with a color, you let's just select blue. And as you can see here now, the text is blue across the entire Shopify store. So if you wanna stick with one color and change it across your store, cool. But just keep in mind that this does update pretty much every location of your Shopify store which is good for some people, not so great for others. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're changing out your text color is you probably wanna go a little bit darker because it's a little bit easier to read, but you know, maybe if you changed out the background color on your store, maybe you wanna go white text or something like that. But I would highly advise you to go and make sure you check all your pages to make sure that when you change one color here, it doesn't mess up another part of your Shopify store. But that's how you change out your font color. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. Um, especially within the online store 2.0 setup uh, on Shopify, but that's how you change your font uh, text color, you know, your, your font size and your font style on your Shopify store so that you can get a really custom look and feel for your specific Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We can get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. Guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.